The next new island is on the way along with the return of the Magicals. Yes, they include Pekka and Tapcon. So yes, we are talking about this right now. <laughs> so things have advanced far quicker than what I expected and we have a new teaser for the new island. And it's premiering tomorrow. So let's have a look at the teaser which we have. First of all, we have this trailer which has audio for once which had me already really... <laughs> We see something reaching out across the skies of an island, it looks like here, which could indeed be our island sky for the brand new island, let's bear in mind. But then it reaches out towards Psychic Island, where we see one of the dots emerge inside of the background. Now, I assume, seeing as though we have four dots emerging from this mysterious entity, this is going to represent all four of the magical islands. We've got one for Berry Island, Bone Island, Light Island, and Psychic Island here. All four magical islands, all of the monsters are rejoining. But of course, we gotta go over and <laughs> what it says in the description too. It says there's a being who's sure all that glitters is gold and is buying a stairway to heaven. Now this has so many consequences. First of all, we got this random light particle that emerges inside of this teaser as well. And this is clearly hinting towards whatever is calling upon all of these magical monsters. But then we have the stairway to heaven part, which don't even get me started with that. That's representing the higher plane, which is where we see Gold Island and Amber Island come from. Those reunion islands where we see monsters come from, where they all come back with one another and rejoice in this final island moment. We've also got this in game. It says step by step and step is highlighted here and usually this means something. So I'm pointing this to be maybe something related to the island name or something. I'm so confused. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, I'm just I'm so excited. <laughs> Anyways, well, if we look on over to Josh Hermon's channel, this is something which I've wanted to make a video on for ages. <laughs> I mean, focusing on Workshop, but I should be focusing on this. Inside of their channel, they revealed two new magical animations too. We've got a brand new sound and animation for Bonkers, and then a brand new sound and animation for Clacula too. So now we're going to look at what is this island actually going to be MPG. <laughs> we've got all of these elements here. We've got Bonkers representing Plant and Psychic, and then we have Clacula representing Bone. Now there's no consistency inside of these elements. We've got Psychic Island in the trailer, and we've got these other light beams going towards the other islands, but what exactly does this mean? Well, back in 2020, we theorized that Magical Sanctum, that is the best way they could have gone to represent the Magicals finale and seeing these Magicals come together one final time. But it has been years now since the Magical Islands ended and everyone, I think, really wanted to see these monsters once more because they are beloved and they didn't get the spotlight they deserve, especially over on Light Island and stuff. Some of them, they did not get the justice. <laughs> And I want to see these so bad. And I know you guys do too. And I think this is where this new island is definitely going to come in. As that's the other idea we had back then. It was to finally see these monsters rejoice amongst one another and bring them back. It's been years since we've seen them. I love them. <laughs> Them. So I think it's finally time for us to see these magicals have more time in the spotlight. Now is the time. It is time for Nexus, boys. <laughs> As everyone is calling it this new island, it is Magical Nexus. It is where we're going to see all of the magicals return. I think you guys have come up with a really cool name for it, actually. I'd love that. It's Nexus time, boys. <laughs> Now, Magical Nexus, or whatever his new island name is going to be, it's going to have all 40 magical monsters on it. Oh my god, you're breaking me right now. All 40. Fill the screen, baby. Every single one. 40 monsters on my screen right now. My editing program can't even keep up. <laughs> this island is going to be so crazy. And oh my god, you know what that means? That means Capricorn and Peggy Day. <laughs> My favorite monsters, I can see them once more and I can put them together. They're going to be best buddies. They're going to be holding hands together on this new magical next island. And I am obsessed. I want to, I want to do that. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm going to just cuddle them for a minute. They're going to be best buddies. <laughs> oh, I'm obsessed. And I want to see Pekinor and Tapcon so badly again. And all of these cool magical monsters. Boy, it's so many monsters as well. We're going up to Continent Dawn of Fire levels right there. I mean, it's not exactly 60, but my God, we're approaching it right there. That is honestly one of the most monsters we have seen on an island in MSM. It's comparable to gold and amber. It's surpassing it. It's insane. It's even more than Amber Island's 31 monsters.
characters. And boy, that felt like so many already. It's definitely going to be comparable, I think, to Amber Island Stride in just how many monsters we're going to have on this island. Now, although all 40 magical monsters are here, we've got a question to more about these magical monsters <laughs> because it still leaves questions on who is going to return. Because we obviously, besides bones, fairies, psychic light, we have magical sanctum, which is also where we get 11 new magical pure hybrids, which was the alternative we got towards the ending of that magical era inside of the game. But it brings to question, are those going to be returning on this island? And so that, I want to put forward what we know about magical sanctum. So already, there's five monsters. Let's just bear that in mind. And we've got up to 51 if we included these. But besides that as well, magical sanctum is being quite separate. It's being put in the pocket dimension where ethereal island is. And it doesn't really feel like it lends itself as much towards this returning element. And as well, if we go back to that time where we're on about this final magical island, magical sanctum, that was just the offshoot of it. It's not really the same as the traditional magical island. So I think in that regard, it was an offshoot island to celebrate the end of that era. and wasn't as such something to be considered for this. So I don't feel like it's going to be here, but I'm just going to say good day, <laughs> I want to see Gadezos and Pekidner and Tapcom reunite. All my I, I, I could not comprehend having all my favorites on one island. That would uh, that would make my mind. <laughs> so, oh, I don't think I'd be able to take that. To be honest, I'm already exploded. <laughs> Island, it had 31 monsters already. 40, that is such an insane number. I feel like we're already going places with this island. So I think we're going to be leaving them out this time. Now as well, I've seen people beyond these magical monsters being commenting, are we going to get new magical monsters? Which is his own thing in its own right. <laughs> I think you guys are a bit crazy, honestly. <laughs> I think it's definitely reaching a tipping point and I would love to see some new magical monster hybrids ever so dearly some new combos we've never seen the magicals that are so beloved and seeing some new ones at all would be a fabulous occasion but this isn't what this island is about in my mind it is a reunion between all of these islands it's not your workshop or mythical we've already got workshop happening so you can have it all there but I think celebrating what we already have is what this island is going to be about it's about returning these monsters that we already love and doing something really cool and unique with them. Now, with this uniqueness, though, comes with a bit of discussion because it also brings to mind how are these mechanics going to operate? We've got nine elements, <laughs> including the four magical ones, just randomly on one island. So there's got to be some kind of new mechanic here or something in relation to what we've already seen. How is this island going to work, basically? <laughs> This island is going to take place on the higher plane, like we've established amber and gold. So it'll probably take some qualities what we have up there. So across these islands, we've got actually completely unique mechanics across them all. We've got on gold island, the idea of just placing them down when they reach level 15. It's often thought of quite a dreamlike place, a fantastical one there. We've got amber island, which is where you power up your vessels and zap eggs towards the island itself to be able to power them up. And therefore, the higher plane actually has completely different mechanics on every single one. So it puts forward, what is the mechanic going to be this time? Now, everyone inside of the community is going about zapping eggs at the moment. Zap, zap, zap. That's all I hear about in terms of this new mechanic. And the magicals, we haven't really seen them be used for zapping besides the adult celestials, which where we are getting right now. And it seems to be the most theorized approach inside of the community. So in that regard, I feel like I do have to talk about it. But personally, I've just got to say, I do not want zapping to return. Okay, I had enough with Amber Island. I'm over it for now. I, I don't want it. <laughs> Okay, please, I think I speak for everyone when I say this. Do not have zapping on this island or we will be done, okay? <laughs> Now, it's steered its course zapping. Let's just get on with these adult celestials, rare wobblings. They're enough already. We can put a zapping island to the side for now, okay? <laughs> We've also got the idea of gold islands placing down, but in that regard, I just say that's not really a gameplay mechanic as such. It was just more of an end game thing. They didn't even probably think the game was going to keep on going at that point. So <laughs> I feel like we, we aren't going to see anything like that with this island. It, it doesn't provide gameplay. Now, we've got teleporting, which is something we've seen with Mythical recently. But then again, I, I come to this and I feel like it is the most likely scenario because magicals, there's not really a way with all of these elements to combine them as such. And this would make out a way for the magicals to be possible, but still have a degree of challenge. To me, this is the most likely scenario that I see in terms of mechanics that we already have inside of the game. They could also just have a nurse 
inventory there with that and a crucible-like structure to be able to get your rares and epics from. But even then, it actually takes me back toward how this cut could operate towards the Magicals themselves. How this island is going to operate lies with the lore of the Magicals themselves, in my opinion. Monsters besides the Celestials and Wobblins, which have been described how they were created, mind you, to have not been created by the Colossals. So we know how they were created, but they just weren't created by the Colossals. But then we get to the Magicals, which also weren't created by the Colossals, but we actually know nothing about them. We don't know how they were created. We don't know where they came from. It's just boop. They appeared. <laughs> That's literally how it is described when they came to Fire Frontier and then it became Psychic Island. They just appeared. And then in the bios, there's nothing mentioning where they came from, how they were created. There's nothing there. And if we go on over to the Monster Handlers, they also have something to say on this. Magicals are one of the ones that were not created by Colossal Spirits, which is an enduring mystery. We don't have the answers as to who created those monsters. So seriously, something is going on with these magical monsters, and I feel like Magical Nexus is our time to finally work out what created these magical monsters. It's going to be so unique as well, because this is something we've never known about before. It's going to be something new, fresh, and it's going to invigorate on that aspect that the magicals have always been about, incorporating new monsters in the island, which is what the magicals were created for. This is going to be a completely new aspect, which is so exciting! <laughs> Considering how the Magicals, they have such close connection to the Titans, which they chose to go on board with when they chose to make the island Psychic Island of Airy Island. I have to assume that this relationship came from somewhere. It's kindled from something, and with this bean, or whatever it is, this bean who was mentioned in the out of the new trailer, who sure all that glitters is gold, I can't help but think, man, we are finally going to learn who created the Magicals now. There is someone calling out for them. This is just fact from the trailer, guys. <laughs> there is someone calling out, and with the island designs being so eccentric lately, I can't help but love this idea of seeing a gargantuan magical creator as a part of the island itself. And all of its mechanics centered around this huge being at the back of the island, a friend to the Titans, and a monster creation extraordinaire, a manic, large, fancy, creature leaning over the back of the island and touching at the bottom of these islands. He does a lot of millions of feet or whatever up in the air. Have this creature just leaning its head over <laughs> with its body and stuff. Encapsulating all of the magical elements. It could have eyes for psychic, wings for fairy, beams for light and bony hands for bone. All of these different magical elements. Parts contributed towards its appearance and making out why it created these magical monsters in the first place. And how it could be involved in these new mechanics I was thinking is it could summon the magical monsters into a structure, maybe a glass-like chamber, once the individual parts are activated based on the elemental affiliations. So if you want to summon a monster with the bone element, you'd go to its bony hands and you'd activate that part, wait for it to be activated, and then use it inside of the chamber. A little bit like how you wait for memes to synthesize, you'd instead be waiting for these body parts to activate. I love the idea of the creature being behind this as well, because it will give so much life to the island. You could have the individual parts be animated based on what is being summoned inside of the creation chamber. <laughs> Let's say that you want a Clacula. The bony hands would goggle up in the air. Or if you want a psychic elemental, its eyes start going with swirls inside of them. Seeing this unique aspect would be so cool and how it couldn't be embraced as this gigantic creature. I feel like this is an idea which everyone has. And seeing it be embraced like this, but not being the centerpiece of the island overall and being so encapsulated in it, it is such an enthralling idea to me. I love this so much. <laughs> It'd be a whole new gameplay saying just like Workshop. And with Workshop, I feel like we are entering a new era of the game. Like Matt said as well on MSM Live. And I feel like we are going to be seeing even more new mechanics. And it's just, it's just so exciting. <laughs> And of course, as well, we've got to talk about the island design itself. It's got to be, of course, in this fantasy setting. It's got to have magical hats, wands, stars, all kinds of magics encapsulating that magical atmosphere flowing around, just being there. And of course, you know that I want that magical sigil. The magical sigil that is described on Sanctum. It's inside of Sanctum's logo, too. Inside of the path, it's described as a symbol that 
represents all of the magicals. So seeing that sigil to be representative of this magical creator in the background, the person who's summoning all the magicals would be just so cool. And as well, just learning more about a new creation creature. I love it. <laughs> I love it. And as well, going back to Josh Hormone's teasers, I want to talk about the island song a little bit. So I've not listened or looked at the Clacula and Monkers parts because I want to wait until they're in game because I'm so excited. <laughs> but I've been told all about them, so I do want to talk about them. And also we have a prediction at the end. I'm going to play a duet between them, the sounds, and also a prediction at the end. So stay tuned for that, guys. But I've got to say this song, I've listened to a prediction without Clacula and Monkers and it is so funky and it's weird in its own way. <laughs> And it's ambient and it's so weird and cool. I feel like Workshop and even Mythical, they, they sort of have a similar setting, but this seems to be a different chain from that even more. And yet it seems to be really cool. I'm so excited. I feel like Shanti and Amber were very akin in the counterparts so like to how Mythical and Workshop sort of are. Just song-wise, the kind of feeling that I resonate with inside of them. But it feels like this is something else entirely, which is very exciting. There's so many hardcore instruments, I feel like, with the Magicals, which we, we just weren't encapsulated and not on enough inside of the Magical Islands, like with Fiddleman on the island, basically all your light elements. <laughs> Just bringing a Mori is going to do so much. They just played the same par weather. And it's so impactful, these instruments. It's finally going to give them a chance to do so much more. And there's so many unique vocals are going to be able to captivate on here. And just the idea of having all of them on this island is just going to make out to be such a unique song. I can't wait to see how you utilize whimsies and hip hop in different pars or whatever. And how they mash together in this unique way, which you wouldn't really expect. I feel like Jake the Drake's Magical Madness prediction definitely comes to mind because this feels like it is going to go really hard because this is just... <laughs> There's just so many good monsters to play around with inside of this song. Amber Island, though, I feel like I do have to bring it up. Amber Island, last time, the monsters were so not involved. And this is a very akin island to Amber Island, so I do want to bring that up. It's monsters just weren't involved with the song. They were so diluted. But I do want to bring it up that Bonkers seems so much more involved in the song than it was over Psychic. So it definitely relieves me a little bit in terms of worry, in terms of seeing so many monsters on this island. Because last time, they didn't quite get it right, in my opinion, on Amber, because there were so many breaking parts and the monsters just didn't contribute enough but it sounds like with bonkers it's even more than psychic island where it's contributing so that definitely gives me a lot of hope but recently on islands i feel like they tend to think more about the song than what the monsters feel like individually and that's important from a gameplay perspective so i'm hopeful that we do continue to see more like bonkers as counter essence or whatever where we see these monsters contributing more rather than less bonkers definitely it makes me worry about that less but <laughs> when is this island going to be releasing then it is of course going to be releasing this Wednesday, I would say. We're getting the trailer tomorrow on Tuesday. And I feel like going by how many monsters we're going to get, I feel like six might be a good starting point. It's going to be interesting to see how this island escalates and how many monsters we're going to get in waves and when they're going to be coming. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> I think I'm most excited to see more about the Magicals creation themselves. I just, I can't wait. Okay, pick it up. I'm literally breaking right now. I love this idea of Fiddleman. Seen that? Gob Gobby! Oh my god! <laughs> like, this is gonna be so cool. Anyway, I, before, before I ever melt down, I'm gonna wait till tomorrow. Now, I'm gonna send you guys over to the prediction and the sounds behind Magical Nexus, as we're calling it now. On to the predictions!